Commentary, don't do that to him. I said, Nice to see you, buddy. Let's just have a personal interview. How's it going? Are we doing okay? Guys, how are we doing? Give it up for Liam, give it up for Kevin. Do it for yourselves. Looking good, you almost look as good as me. Let's have a little crowd participation to start, huh? Let's do a little clap. Who likes camping? Where's my camping? Where's my outdoor people at? All right, how many of you outdoors then can put that tent back in the tent bag when you're done camping? Exactly. Anyone who claps a fucking liar. It's impossible. The laws of physics, like that one statue, the guy doing this. It's a guy trying to figure out how to put a tent in a tent bag. It's like, how do I do it? I don't know. It's like I try everything. You know, I'm doing elbow drops off the top rope. Doing, you know, I'm physically battling the tent. I get it like halfway in there. It looks kind of just like herpes. It's not, it's not, it's not working. So I, I resorted to psychological warfare now. Talk down to it, I'm like, you couldn't sleep four on your best day. <laughs> Spit at it, you know, show it who's boss. It sucks, man, like, I, three years I haven't smoked a cigarette, couldn't get tent back in the tent bag, off the wagon. We gotta fire up another Newport, man, I gotta figure out how to get this thing back in there. It's like, I don't know who that Coleman guy is, but fuck that guy, right? Like, gotta do something about these tents, man. I wrote a letter to my senator. It was about legalizing weed, but like, I'm doing stuff, man. I am, I am out there trying. Oh, man. Getting older. I'm out of breath already. Anyone, else, anyone getting older? Yeah, we all are. It's called science. It's, the, world, the world's spinning right now. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> yeah, man. Getting older, dude. Like, you never think you're old. You never think you're old until like something lets you know you're old, you know? Like I'm listening to the classic rock on the radio today and I hear Pearl Jam. I'm like, Pearl Jam, wait a minute, that's the 90s. Like I was alive, like where's the Zeppelin? Where's the shit, like you know what I mean? Like, you know, and it's like as soon as he was like, even flow, my back started to hurt. I was like, ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, I told the kid to get off my lawn. I live in the fifth floor of an apartment building. I don't even have a lawn. I went to an early bird dinner. I complained the food was too hot. Pulled my pants up and left without paying. Yelled out senior citizen discount fuckers, I swear. Oh man, I'm getting old. It's like, and it's weird when you age, like the things that you care about, like your priorities shift so much. Like when I was in my 20s, we had Blackout Tuesday. Great night, followed by Blackout Thursdays. <laughs> Had a one day recuperation period, then right back at it. You know what I mean? You're out till five o'clock in the morning having a good time. I'm in my 30s now. I get excited for Groupon emails. <laughs> Fuck. And I'm like, oh my God, 30 pieces of Tupperware for $49.99, oh my God. I'm emailing people I don't even like. <laughs> uh, what the fuck, I was so much fun in my 20s. You know, you go out till four o'clock in the morning, work by seven. You know, you end up at a seedy strip club by the end of the night. We call it the Colony Lounge here in Buffalo, New York. <laughs> you walk in, I walk in, best, time, best thing I've ever seen in my life. I walk in, there's a girl with a full leg brace, just a full brace from top to bottom, just tripping, just. <laughs> wow. So I did what any growing boy would do. I took a $5 bill, stuck it in the knee hole. <laughs> I told her, earn that shit, bitch. She looks at me, she says, earn that shit, motherfucker. And she just bends over and she pulls that five dollar bill out with her, just with her fucking mouth. Her name's Pam, we're engaged, we're getting married this summer, guys. True love, true love. Strip clubs are weird though, man. Uh, ladies, you might not have this problem. In strip clubs, like, there's always some seedy guy in the bathroom who's like reaching over the stalls, like, what are you doing, man? You wanna do some blow? It's like, Dad, not here, you know? <laughs> uh, it's, it's all right, guys, my dad's dead. <laughs> we can laugh. You know? It's funny, like, my mom just went to a psychic. She's like, you'll never, you'll never guess who visited me during my psychic. I'm like, what? She's like, your father showed up. I'm like, get out of town. <laughs> my dead dad showed up, she's like, yeah. 
Like, well, that's one more time than it was in my life. What the fuck? <laughs> too, too soon? Too soon on the dead dab? You know? Fuck, man. Man, it's weird, man. It's weird getting older. That's how I end that one. Just <laughs> shovel that dead dab. Tell you what, though. I bet you can't tell by this outfit. I'm single. <laughs> surprise, surprise. This is not a wife-approved outfit to go out in public in. There's no woman behind this madness, you know? I looked at my closet, I was like, I got all these cocaine shirts on hangers. <laughs> Which one do I wear tonight? I, I my bicycle's in my dining room, like, I'm that single. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't even know what a throw pillow is. I, feel free to use the hand towels of my house. I don't have cum on them, it's totally cool. <laughs> Totes cool, man. Totes. It's like, it's crazy. I've been single for seven years, man. Seven wonderful fucking years of never closing my bathroom door. Like, it's, it's like I've been single so long, though. I'm starting to think I don't have much boyfriend. You know, there's not much here. Like, I think, like, the only boyfriend material I got is that I got extra hair ties. That's it. It's all breaking to the table. It's like I've been single so long. My safe word is, eh, I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> It's a very dicey time to break up with someone while she's choking you. <laughs> Risky business. <laughs> very dangerous moment in time. <laughs> Christina, no! Oh, man, you know? It's funny, man, because every, every year for Valentine's Day, I go to eat Chinese buffet by myself. Seven years, baby. This year, I went up with a fortune cookie. Says, you will be alone forever. <laughs> How do they know? How do they know? I don't know. You know. I know when you look at me, you see this headband, you see the man bun. You're probably like, this guy loves playing Dave Matthews acoustic songs on the guitar. I'm the guy in the jukebox who played it three times. That's me. I'm the fucking guy. Yeah. Probably into like, Super hippie white chicks with dreadlocks and flat butts. That's what you probably think. Not me. About that life, son. I used my benefits card to break into a house yesterday. Benefited me like a motherfucker. You know, like I said, about that life, man. Like white girls, you don't do it for me. Sorry, with your little butts and your non-twerking asses and your diets. Got of here. I'm into black girls, baby. I love them black women. I've been with so many black girls. My grandfather's rolled over in his grave so many times. He's drilled a hole right out. He is pissed. He's climbing up to come and get me. He's climbing up. He's climbing up. That's how the zombie apocalypse starts, guys. It's not bird flu. It's racism. Yeah. Climbing up. You stay away from them black girls. KFC impersonator, I grandma. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So I just broke up with my girlfriend recently. And that one joke, I was single and a loser. And this joke, I dumped that bitch. Roll with me, guys. We're having fun. We're having some fucking fun. All right? Not all my jokes are true, just my stories. <laughs> and the bicycle thing. But like. So we, just, like, we broke up. Like, she was one of those girls, like, I'm off Facebook. I've been off Facebook for three months. Congratulations on beating your addiction, Karen. What am I here? You know what I mean? Like, what? You know, and it's like, but she's still using Instagram and Twitter. You know? So it's like being a vegetarian, but still eating chicken and shrimp. You know? Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, man. And it took like six months. It took like six fucking months to break up, man. Six months. And by the end of it, we started hating each other, we're blocking each other on Facebook, and I'm like, why can't you break up like the show Chopped on the Food Network? You know what I mean? Just three explanations, two sentences, one, and you've been chopped. <laughs> right? But like, listen, you got terrible taste in music, you blew two of my friends, <laughs> and for those reasons, you've been chopped. <laughs> Quick! Doing a commercial break while watching Chopped. We're out, baby, you know what I mean? Let's go, I got things to do. 
So they went, though, you want to feel like a shitty adult, you watch that Chop Jr. show. <laughs> this fucking 11 year old kid's making risotto. I almost burned my house down making pizza rolls last night. <laughs> The hell is this? And they're like, oh, you took pork butt and Pepsi and some leftover french fries? We have risotto. And I'm, like, and I'm like, oh yeah, well I microwaved the pizza rolls and I put them in the toaster oven to crisp them up because I'm a baller. What's up? <laughs> Guys, have a great rest of your night. I hope you enjoyed your time.